So in the next uh, 25 minutes, I will uh, uh, describe some of our work on engineering uh, NK cells. So, so you, this morning you have already heard about uh, uh, CAR T cells. So with the uh, initial uh, clinical efficacy of, of CAR T cells, with the response rate up, up to 70, 90 percent. However, all this uh, clinical uh, investigation and subsequent, uh, 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 subsequent uh, approval has shown some uh, challenge of CAR, CAR T cells. So this include, uh, this include toxicity, including the cytokine release syndrome, in some patients, it has neurotoxicity. Of course, the T cells, if in allergenic cases, you have graft versus host disease as well. So in addition, in CD19 car, there's evidence on so-called on target of tumor, tumor, of tumor toxicity, because CD19 is a tumor-associated antigen. So it's not, the CAR T cells not only eliminate CD19 positive tumor cells, but they eliminate all, all the B cells as well. So in addition, so although the initial response rate is high in the CAR T uh, therapy, so there's a six months later, in many patients, the tumor uh, come back. In some of those cases, it's due to the loss of a target antigen. If you're thinking about it, CD19 is not a, a tumor driver mutation. Tumor does not require uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to survive. So as a result, it can easily lo lose it. So as a, in that case, you, we have CD19, CD19 uh, negative tumors coming out. The other limited relapse uh, is due to the limited persistence of CAR T cells in, in, in the patients. I think the same problem contributed to the low, low uh, uh, efficacy of CAR T cells so far in, in, in solid tumors. And, of, and finally, so, so the CAR T cell therapy, so far it, 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 has, been, it has been quite a, a, a expensive. So, so we, in the last three years, we have collaborated extensively with Rizwan Romi at the Dana Farber Cancer Institute to develop a car NK, car NK, cell, car NK cell platform. So, so compared to T cells, the NK cells does not have does not cause this uh, this toxicity. So so far in 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 clinical trial. Adaptive transfer NK cells does not cause uh, cytokine release syndrome, minimal neurotoxicity. Of course, NK cells, because they do, they, they, when they recognize MNC class one, they, their activity I, I, is inhibited. In contrast, the T cells become activated, so they do not cause graft versus host disease. So in addition, uh, uh, Rizwan Romi's group has pioneered of so-called cytokine-induced member-like NK cells. So I will, we, we have preferably participated in, in that work. I will show you, show you some recent data showing that this cytokine induced memory like NK cells, they can persist in, uh, in patients for months. So that could potentially overcome the, the limited persistence of, a, of, a, of a CAR T cells. So we have also, uh, 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 in order to overcome the uh, tumor relapse due to loss of uh, associated tumor antigen, so we have uh, tried to target, tu target, target tumor driver mutations so that because these are oncogenic mutations, the tumor cells are, are, necess are, needed for, for, uh, are needed. So we try to target them so that we hope that the relapse, w w w relapse w w will be low. So we have also uh, develop an approach to effectively transduce uh, NK cells. So one of the challenge of uh, the NK cell genetic engineering is that the conventional VSVG pseudotype antivirus does not transduce them well. So by using different pseudotyping, we have efficiently optimized, open, optimized the, 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 this system. So I will also, at, at the end, discuss some of the potential challenges. Just a little bit background about the natural killer cells. So natural killer cells, they, they kill altered self cells by inducing apoptosis. So the altered self cells could be virus infected cells. They are important for e e initial immune, innate immune response against the virus infection. They also kill tumor cells, especially with reduced or no MRC uh, expression. 
and it, they also uh, kill uh, kills stress cells. So this is uh, the uh, NK cells in the blood. You can see the granules e e e inside the cell. When they interact with targeted cells, they kill targeted cells very similar as the CDA T cells by 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 releasing porphyrin by releasing porphyrin and the green enzyme. So that induces apoptosis of target cells. So, so in contrast to T cells, which become activated, they recognize uh, antigens through TCR, recognize peptide MHC complex, and then they become activated. So NK cells, they, 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 they do not have antigen specific re re receptor. Typically, N normal NK cells do not kill our cell, healthy cells. This is because the activation of NK cell cytotoxic activity is a balance between activating signal and uh, inhibitory, inhibitory signal. So normally, the healthy cells express the MHC class one, so that can in, in, inhibit NK cells to kill, kill themselves. However, in the viral infection or tumor, some of them lost MHC class one. Now the, the, the virus infected cells or tumor cells become target of, of, the, of the NK cells. But there's other ways to activate NK cells as well. You can artificially enhance the, in, enhance the uh, signaling through the activating re re receptor, for instance, by introducing cars. So that way, even in the presence of inhibition, the NK cells can be activated and kill, uh, kill the target cells. Or in your, your, your may also heard about the antibody uh, cancer immunotherapy. Most of the time, antibody does not kill tumor cells directly. By, however, by binding to tumor cells, they can mediate, uh, induce a uh, so-called ADCC, antibody-dependent uh, uh, cytotoxicity. That's because the NK cells have FC gamma receptor, which they can become activated, they can kill the, uh, kill the, kill the antibody uh, uh, coated tumor cells. So, so that's the, so by artificially introducing CAR into NK cells, you can enhance, enhance the anti-tumor anti -tumor activity. So the other major development of the NK cells is so-called cytokine-induced memory-like NK cells. If we take the uh, NK cells from peripheral blood, in incubate them with cytokine IL-12, 15, and 18, just for all, overnight, they acquire a phenotype which resemble have memory-like phenotype, like a memory T and B cells. What, uh, what we mean by that is that if you re-stimulate these cells again, they respond faster and they re respond much str strongly. For instance, this is a, a compared to our 15 treated cells or the three cytokine treated cells, they produce more, uh, more, uh, more interferon gamma, uh, either after stimulation by target cells or primar primary acute myeloid le le leukemia. Similarly, they acquire uh, enhanced anti-tumor anti uh, activity as well. In fact, Rizwan's group, they have introduce this cytokine induced memory cells into, into, into patients. If they are introduced into the allergenic AML patients, so you, in the patients you, you do the preconditioning to remove the T cells, and then you have donor, uh, allergenic donor, NK cells induced into them, into memory-like NK cells, and infuse them uh, uh, into patient, and then give IL-2 for, for like two, two weeks. So what they can show is that by assaying the Either the donor or the or the recipient NK cells, they can follow. You see, you can see at day seven they have a, 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 a expansion, and by day fourteen they are mostly gone. This is partly by IL two can stimulate the sti stimulate uh, stimulate their expansion, and in these allergenic cases, basically by three weeks the the, the infused cells are, are mostly gone. This their their disappearance is correlated with the re-emergence of a recipient NK cells and then T cells. Most likely, the, the infused uh, uh, allergenic NK cells are killed by endogenous T cells. So recently, they have done by transfer memory-like NK cells into HA-matched AML patients. So the result is, is quite dramatic. So again, this is following the NK cell uh, number in the blood. Normally, in the healthy human, that's the level of NK cells. However, in this patient, six patients, with adoptively transferred with cytokine-induced memory-like NK cells, 
you can see that number increased enormously, expanded 10 to, uh, 10 to 50 fold. So initially, poverty is induced by R12, but two weeks later, the R12 are not given to patients anymore, but some of them can, can persist for, can persist for, can persist for, persist for, persist for many months. So they can persist uh, much longer. And this is showing another example. If we measure the percentage of NK cells in, as percentage of a lymphocyte, you can see in the, in the adaptive transfer uh, 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 recipient, most of the lymphocytes, they are mostly, mostly uh, NK cells, but they decline o o o o o over time. In fact, this is just introducing the uh, uh, non-engineered uh, memory-like NK cells into patients. They have a therapeutic effect. So this is a monitoring uh, AML, AM, AML in the blood, whether they carry a specific mutation or not. You can see that there's a drop of, of those uh, uh, cells with mutation. In addition, in this limited example, there's responders or stable disease or, or the progressors. We, we can show that in the responder and the, and the stable disease, they have higher level of NK cells in contrast to the, to the non to pro, patient with progressive disease, which NK cells drop out much faster. So this is transfer non-engineered NK cells. What we want to do is to introduce a car in, in, into memory-like NK cells with the, by, by targeting them to specific to tumor and, and take advantage of the, uh, uh, take advantage of, of, the, of the lung persistence of, of, of the cells. So I will give you one example how we develop a tumor-specific cars. I will use uh, uh, AML as example as well. So in AML, there's many mutations, but one of the dominant mutations is NPM1 or, uh, or nuclear phosphamine. This occurs in, 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 about, in about 30 percent patients. So what happens is that this mutation is a frame shift at the end terminal. So this is a Y-type NPM1. In the mutant NPM1, it's called NPM1C. It, it has a, a a change in the end terminal. This results, uh, this results uh, a neo, a neo epitope. This can be presented by the most, most uh, 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 frequent allele of a uh, human uh, HAA, HAA. So basically, this peptide can be presented by by MRC class one molecules. So we developed a car which recognizes the mutant peptide in combination with uh, uh, HLA. So the way we did it is, is, to, is, to use the, is to use the East cell surface display. You can express a human single-chain FV library under East. So we made the peptide emergency complex dimo. We stain them, and then we can identify whether there's specific single-chain FV recognized the, recognize the, the, the neo epitope uh, in, 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 in MRC class one. This is shown the yeast, selenium yeast, because uh, uh, yeast has a, a meek epitope with a uh, meek positive, and also whether, whether they bind to the, to, uh, to the uh, peptide MRC complex or not. So this is the MPM1C uh, epitope. This clone, you see the yeast are positive. If we use a control, control peptide, if uh, from flu virus or, or from other tumor antigen, it, it does not bind. So this is a specific uh, single-chain MV against a uh, tumor, tumor specific target. So we uh, generate, construct a, a, a car with, uh, with uh, 4MBB and CD3 zeta. So in this case, the, uh, in case of a CAR T cells, the CAR recognizes peptide MRC complex on, 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 on AML. So we can show that the CAR T cells, which can be stained with the peptide MRC complex, why, why the other, why, why non-specific MRC uh, uh, peptide does not bind. And these CAR T cells do, do specifically kill tumors, which have the NPM1C mutation, as well as HLA2 uh, positive. You can see that this is uh, 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 killing in, in the, in the antigen-dependent manner. If the, if the tumor is a Y-type NPM1, but they have A2, does not kill, or if the tumor does not have, does not have A2 at all, it, it, it does not kill at all, and, and with the CAR T cells from, from different donors. So similarly, we can see that in mice, by putting in the NSG mice, 
in graft w w with human uh, ML tumor, they, they can also have an effect. So we, now we have done this with uh, mammary-like NK cells. So before we go into, into that, I want to introduce you how do we transduce uh, uh, NK cells. So traditionally, the most widely used antivirus pseudotype is VSVG. So that's because VSVG is a receptor, is LDL receptor, which are expressed on, 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 on many cell, cell types. So as a result, antivirus pseudotype with VSVG can transduce many, many cells. However, NK cells uh, uh, does, not express, does not express high level of, of, uh, of LDL LDL, LDL, LDL receptor. So as a result, NK cells are not efficiently transduced. So what we did is that we sold the type of antivirus with, with, with a bamboo retroviral, retroviral envelope galactoprotein. So this recognizes uh, ASCT2. This, uh, this is an amino acid tr transporter. As you can see, when they are NK cells become memory-like NK cells, the receptor level increase. So as a result, we can efficiently transduce uh, 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 NK cells. In contrast, with VG uh, uh, antivirus, even we use 100 MOI of 100, does not transduce that well. So typically, we, we, we using different uh, 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 virus, but with same uh, uh, baboo retroviral envelope, we can get, we can get uh, transduce NK cells uh, e efficiently. It, on average, we can easily get a, get a 60 to, to, to 70 percent. So we use the same car, which uses 4MBB and C2CZ, and it put it into the, into the uh, memory like NK cells. Partly, this 4MBB and C2CZ are both used in natural NK cells. So the way we do it, we use a human PBMC, isolate NK cells, culture them overnight with cytokine to derive memory like NK cells. And, and, then, and, and then transduce them with car uh, antivirus and then uh, expand them uh, for, for a few days. So we can show again, they can kill the, kill the, the uh, tumor, AML tumor cells with MPM1C mutation and A2 positive, but not A2, A2 negative, but not uh, uh, MPM1 uh, Y type. So I want, to, this is a killing of here, but the, even the non-transduced NK cells, they, they also kill because NK cells naturally have uh, have uh, ability to kill tumor cells, especially in the absence of 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 uh, uh, HRA2, and the, and the cytokine expression by interferon gamma it is similar. So one, I want to emphasize that NK cells can do two modes of killing. They have the the car independent killing. They also have a car 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 dependent killing. So. We, we also uh, used, uh, used uh, human uh, PDX with AML. You can see that with a car, NK cells, they can kill more efficiently than just a plain NK cells. The plain NK cells kill uh, similarly as, as CD19 car, indicating that's a, 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 that's a car, e, 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 that's car e, 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 e independent killing. And uh, we also, with our system, we have the ability to to make a CAR-T and a CAR-NK cells that express the same CAR. We, we, we want to compare whether which one is, is more effective. The way we did is to use uh, from the same healthy donor PBMC, isolate T cells and NK cells. And then we transduce with the same MPM1C CAR, generate a CAR-T and a CAR-NK cells. And then we engraft them into NSG mice with, with a tumor. And we monitor the tumor burden and the, and the, and the, 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 the a CAR-T and CAR-NK cell for, for, for persistence. These are shown over here. So this is measuring for the luciferous activity. This is without cell transfer or CAR-NK cell transfer or, or, or the CAR-T cell transfer. If you quant quantify the signal, so based essentially that in this experiment, CAR-T and the CAR-NK cells, CAR-T and the CAR-NK cells behave similarly. They have sim similar efficacy against the tumor, and this is a matching weight. And at the end of, of uh, 18 days, we, we killed the mice and asked whether there's a CAR-T and the CAR-NK cells left in the mice. So this is measure uh, CAR-NK cells in the liver, in the blood, in spleen and bone marrow. It, uh, for human CD45 positive, and the, and the, and the, 
either NK cell market CD56 or, or, or CD3 over here. You can see they, they can both CAR-T, CAR NK cells. In this short term experiment, they, uh, uh, they can persist. So at least from this limited experiment, is that the CAR-T and the CAR NK cells, they, are, they, are, uh, uh, they, they have similar uh, uh, activity. So clearly we need to do more experiment to, to investigate, uh, uh, to better compare them. So, so, so far I just discussed how we, we, we develop a, a, a tumor specific cars. So we have developed a, a tumor specific cars against other, other mutated oncogenes as well. And we, we, we arm them, uh, arm memory like NK cells for, 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 for that effect. So the other advantage of, of NK cells, besides the lack of toxicity, limited toxicity and the, and the, the longer persistence, so NK cells, uh, the, the source of NK cells is, is, is more widely available too. So we have primarily used, uh, used NK cells from peripheral blood, but you can get them from cord blood. You can also derive uh, NK cells from iPS cells or CD34 positive hematopoietic stem cells. They, they, can be, they can be all treated with a cytokine cocktail to generate a, a memory like NK cells. And then there's also a lot of interest in using, using NK, NK cell, cell lines. So as a result, I think there's probably there's a low threshold to generate a manufacturing car NK cells as well. But I think there's a lot of, a lot of challenges. Uh, I want to, to talk about two, two, two examples. One is that how can we more efficiently isolate cars or single chain FVs which recognize mutated oncogene? And the other one is that in the longer term, in order to generate long-term efficacy, especially against solid tumor, we have to go, we have to do, do, do other things. You know, the NK cells or CAR T cells can be potentially uh, carry additional molecules, which can help to induce the endogenous T cell response. So like, for example, CAR T or CAR NK cells killed, initially kill the tumor. The tumor antigen will be released. Can we engineer CAR NK cells or T cells express some other molecules, which can stimulate endogenous T cell response uh, 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 against the, against the, against the, against the newly, re, newly re released tumor, uh, newly re released tumor antigen. I mean, in terms of a cost effect, I think that's a, a better way to use uh, a, a allergenic NK cells, because partly they do not mediate graft versus disease. Um, but uh, longer term, clearly, we need to develop a technology which we can do, which we can do, we can transduce NK cells, T cells in, in patient. So I want to just discuss a little bit about how to, the challenges of generating a tumor specific cars. I want to give you an example. So there's many, many mutations in, in the oncogene or, or tumor suppressor gene. Ideally, ideally, ideally we want to target them, right? But this is very challenging. I just give a KRAS example. You know, KRAS mutation has been widely, widely mapped in, in, in pancreatic cancer or, or the colon cancer or, or, or in the lung. So they have uh, different mutations in, in different cancer. Most, mostly a lot of mutations occur at the, at the amino acid 12 from glycine to change to, to aspartic acid to, to, to some other amino acid. So in this case, the normal epitope and the, the, the mutated oncogenic epitope, they differ only in, on, only in one amino acid. So this, if you think about it, in, when they are presented by the MRC class one, so there's a single amino acid change in, in, in the peptide. In order to, to generate a single chain FV, which can distinguish the sing, single amino acid change. So that, I think that there's a lot of work needs to be done. So finally, I would like to thank, uh, thank the people who participated in, in this work. So uh, in my group, the initial generation of MP1C car uh, was developed by, by Goldu Shi, who has left the lab, and they participated by James Han and Nikla had generated new, new uh, single-chain MV against cars, and uh, Guan Hu participated as well. We, we use a East Display li Library from, from Deng Wu so uh, most of our work has been done in close collaboration with, with, with Rizwan Romi's group 
as well as as well as as well as Lori, Lori Grimshaw from for, 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 uh, for, for, uh, from Dana Farber, in particular Han Dong in Lori's lab, and uh, Roman and Grace in 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 Rizwan's uh, in Rizwan's lab. I will stop over here and be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. That was really challenging. Um, we do have a question, and please add your questions if you like. Um, question is, how easy is it to engineer human, I guess they mean CAR NK cells, for more rare mutations as opposed to ones that are highly? Uh, this is a very, very good question. So because of the, the, uh, the uh, oncogenic or, or mutation, which happened to in single amino acid, which normally we generate a new epitope presented by MRC. In HA or MRC in human, they, they, are, they are widely polymorphic. So far, we have focused on the alleles, which, is, which are widely spread, like in HA2 in the Caucasian population, it's 50%, right? But not all of them are, are as high. So that will require to, to generate even the same peptide when the M MRC allele change, we may have to generate a new new cars to, to recognize them. So it has to be regenerated each yes. time. Yes. Do you foresee that this possibly could go into humans at some point? Yes, so, so that's why partly we are collaborating with Rizwan Roman. He actually does a clinical trial. Oh. So we, we hope our first NPM1C car will go to humans soon. So um, that the tumor specific car on memory like NK cells. Yeah. Great. Another question. Is there an opportunity to use combination of CAR T cells and CAR NK cells as a therapeutic treatment? Uh, I assume that's in humans. So I'm, well, I'm not sure, but because partly they function similarly, you, that, that would make it twice as expensive. <laughs> <clears throat> good question, good answer. And another question, could you comment on the difference between CAR-NK or memory-NK plus antibody for ADCC? That, 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 that's a very good question. I think because uh, uh, CAR, so in contrast to T cells, T cell uh, 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 killing of tumor require TCIE engagement. So NK cells has multiple ways to, to kill tumor cells. Either if the tumor cells lost MRC or they, if there's antibody against tumor, right? So I think I can see that will be a, a, will be a combination of a CAR NK cells combined w w combi combined with antibody because the NK, CAR NK cells they will naturally have a ADCD, ADCC activity as well. Great. Well, join me in thanking Professor Jianzu Chen. Okay. Thank you very much.